What is going on guys and welcome to a very special video here on the It Resolves channel. Today we're doing something a little bit different. Hopefully we had some gameplay up already today, but I wanted to add a little something special. And now that we're pre-recorded and jumping ahead, we're gonna do a bit of a pack opening today. Now this isn't just any pack opening. I'm kind of bored with standard at the moment. So I thought I would try something a little bit different. So we went to Scryfall, we chose random and saw what set came up and it happened to be Chronicles. So I decided, you know what? Let's buy three packs of the Chronicles set and see what we can get. Now, Chronicles, if you don't know, was a reprint set that featured cards from Antiquities, The Dark, Legends, all kinds of stuff that came out in 1995 and featured 125 cards, I believe. Now, there was a lot of controversy at the time around this set because people didn't really love the reprints at first. Certain people that collected the cards already didn't really feel like it was a good idea because it hurt the value of the cards, but it also helped accessibility. It let a lot of other players pick up the white bordered versions of the cards that were reprinted in this set, and they happen to be a lot cheaper. Now, just because they were cheaper doesn't mean there is no value in this set. There are certainly some value cards still sitting at the top. Concordant Crossroads, I believe is number one, sitting at right around 45, 50 bucks, somewhere in there. But we also have things like Blood Moon. We also have Ashnod's Altar, I believe at Common, which is kind of ridiculous. All of that to say, Chronicles is an awesome reprint set and one that I am very excited to open and just to revisit all the history that is within this set. So without further ado, guys, let's jump into pack one right now. All right, guys, here we are for our uh, our little Chronicles pack opening. I am so excited for this. Again, I love Chronicles. I have opened a little bit of this set, though not at the time. Uh, and so this is certainly kind of a, a fresh new experience for me. I have no idea no idea uh that opened a little too easy that's a little suspect uh the order of the cards here so we are going to be looking at these uh fresh and new and we're going to just try and see what we get so first we have banshee a little zero one for two and two black from the dark originally hey x tap it it deals x damage rounded up to you and half rounded down to target creature or player that's actually kind of cool uh i actually like that as far as creatures go that doesn't seem terribly bad we have got Beasts of Begarden, a uh, very cool little card, a 3-3 for 5 pro red. As long as any opponent controls any white cards, it gets plus one, plus one. That's kind of cool. I kind of like that. Look at that artwork, too. Oh, my gosh. Also, guys, prices should show up across the screen. Uh, I'm going to do my best to get all of those edited in, and we'll see what we end up getting. Wall of Wonder, a 1-5 for 4. Man. Look, again, the artwork of these old sets, and I know white bordered cards sometimes get a bad rap. I kind of like them, I'll be honest. Uh, Metamorphosis, kind of a classic card uh, that, again, classic artwork from Christopher Rush as well. Very, very pretty. Um, Giant Slug, a 1-1 one, one for 2. You can pay 5 during your next upkeep. Choose a basic land walk ability. Giant Slug gains that land walk ability until the end of the turn. That's actually really cool. Uh, land walk is like forest walk, island walk, that kind of stuff. We haven't actually seen that for a little while, really, because it was kind of phased out as an evergreen mechanic uh, in recent years. Uh, Diavenant Archer, I hope I'm saying that correctly, deals one damage target attacking or blocking creature. Uh, I love that her face looks a little creepy. <laughs> um, Cat Warriors, funny enough, this is, I believe, an upcoming card of the day if it's not already been released. Very cool. Uh, does feature Forest Walk just naturally, which is kind of nice. Uh, originally in the Legends as well. Ooh, okay, another Legend. A 3-3 for 2, 2 black and a red Torwaki. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Uh, you can tap it, deals 2 damage to target attacking or blocking creature. And again, just absolutely stunning artwork. That That's really the feature of these old sets, in my opinion. Um, not only do we get some good cards, of course, but just the beautiful, beautiful artwork. Uh, Repentant Blacksmith, a 1-2 with pro red for two. Uh, a, a, Arabian Nights, I believe, is the uh, set that that's from. Fountain of Youth from the Dark. You can gain a life. God, I love the sky. The night sky above the, the fountain is absolutely stunning. Wow. And Kambaj Witches, I hope I'm saying that correctly. This was actually featured on a Game Nights a few years ago, uh, which is really hilarious. Um, absolutely cool card. I love the, the yin-yang kind of vibe. Uh, and I believe the rare, by the way, um, well, it could have been a number of things. I actually don't know. Um, oh, we still have another card. 
an Urza's mine. Oh, that's actually really good. Okay, so the Urza's lands are in here. Uh, I did forget about that, but there are the Urza lands in here, which is really, really sick. If you don't play Tron, Tron features all three Urza lands. When you get all three out, you have a combination of seven mana available to you from just three lands, which is kind of ridiculous, uh, but an absolutely awesome uh, version of Urza's mine there. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, guys, let's go ahead. We're gonna jump straight in to pack number two and see what we get. It's absolutely fantastic to have the opportunity to do this. I do wanna thank, as we're starting out with a Storm Seeker here, I just wanna give a huge shout out to the patrons who really make these kinds of things possible. Wow, the Swamp King, a 5-5 with Swamp Walk. Whenever you, a black spell is successfully cast, you gain a life. One of the better legends, actually, surprisingly. It's not very good, I know, but uh, in the in old school terms, that's pretty good. Um, but I do want to thank a huge, huge thank you to the, the patrons of the channel. Uh, it really does mean a lot that you guys support us on a monetary basis. And truth be told, it's because of you guys that we get to do this kind of thing. So thank you so much. It's nice to start off the year with something a little bit different. We have got a boomerang here. Fantastic. Very classic card. Uh, ooh, Mar Marhalt Elves Dragon. I hope I'm saying it correctly. Again, another legend. We've seen actually a, a high number of these legends from the actual legend set. Uh, Rampage 1, and I don't even remember what Rampage does. I feel like it's not that good, but I might be wrong. Uh, Indestructible Aura, the beautiful blues, the beautiful oranges, the reds. Oh, I love that. Fish Liver Oil, the most repulsive card. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, I love that. Uh, Wall of Vapor. That's an interesting looking card. <laughs> That's for sure. Uh, Goblin Shrine. Absolutely stunning card. I, I do really like that. I think that looks awesome. Uh, as long as target land is a mountain, all goblins get plus, plus one plus zero until it leaves play. Oh, when it leaves play, it deals one damage to each goblin. Ooh, that's interesting. Oh, I kind of like that. Uh, Gazban Ogre, a 2-2 two, two for one. During your upkeep, the player with the most life gains control of the ogre. Uh, that's really funny. If the highest life total is shared by more than one, more than one player, that controller controlling it retains it. That's interesting. And then another Urza land. We've got Urza's Tower, an absolutely stunning version as well with that beautiful beach sunset. Oh, I love that. And then our final card is Remove Soul, another classic counterspell, counting, countering target creature. It says summon spell on here with the old text, but obviously Oracle text, it's just a creature. Fantastic. All right, guys. Well, so far we haven't hit any of the big, big money cards, but hopefully we can still. We do have Nickel Bolas, things like that. Uh, even City of Brass would be kind of a nice hit. So hopefully, hopefully we will see something in this last pack. Regardless though, I think this has just been a fun opportunity, not something again that we get to do very often. Uh, and so it's really, really special to, to be able to do something like this. All right, Wall of Opposition is our first card here, a 0-6 for 5. Another little summon wall, you can give it plus 1, plus 0 until the end of the turn. That's kind of cool. We've got our second Storm Seeker of the pack opening, very interesting. Uh, we have got our second Swamp King. Hmm, interesting. Okay, fair enough. We've got our second Swamp King. Uh, beautiful card, so I'm glad to see it again. Goblin Digging Team, a 1-1 one, one for 1, sacrifice it. Uh, to destroy target wall, which obviously back in the day was a little more relevant than it is now. Uh, not so much anymore. Uh, wow, Scavenger Folk. I always thought this card looked absolutely creepy. <laughs> that face, just look at that face. Uh, a 1-1 one, one for 1, you can sacrifice it to destroy an artifact. Uh, actually more useful potentially now. Uh, remove soul counter target summon spell something I should mention too I, I did mention it at the beginning of the video because there's only 125 cards in the set It's not as unlikely that we're gonna see a lot of duplicates and that kind of thing um, I did just order these from TCG player. So my assumption is that everything checks out uh, wall of shadows a zero one uh, for three Damage dealt to it uh, by creatures it blocks is reduced by it's reduced to zero Wall of Shadows cannot be the target of spells or effects that target only walls. That's very interesting as well. Uh, I like that. Another Indestructible Aura as well. We've got Rune Sword. Okay, very cool. Artifact for six. Fantastic. Oh, God, that beautiful old artwork. Mountain Yeti. <laughs> Mountain Walk Protection from White, 3-3 three, three for four. Not actually a bad creature by old school standards, funny enough. And then another old school legend, 4-4, four, four, we've got Tobias for five. Oh, beautiful. I think that's our last card, guys. That is it. 
that's the whole set. My goodness. Okay, well, first and foremost, again, we didn't hit any of the big money cards. I was hoping for a Concordant Crossroads, maybe a City of Brass, something like that. Even an Ashnod's Altar at, at Common, you would think would be very possible, but unfortunately we didn't get it. That is fine. Regardless, this has been a really special thing that we've been able to do. So thank you guys so much. I want to especially thank the patrons again. Because of you, we get to do things like that. So thank you. It, I can't say it enough. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Please leave a like if you did, and we will hopefully be able to do some more of these awesome vintage pack openings very, very soon. Until then, guys, I will see you later. Thank you so much for watching.